previously on Apprentice A. It is a very small flat white. I thought Holland was supposed to be above water. It's, get it because it's wet and raining. Car, it's so cute! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I'm working on some website stuff and taking some time and using computer sessions anyway. And just and just there's a good couple of the vlog shortly. Um, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna check TweetDeck, see what my tweets are like. So I go to punch in TweetDeck and I get all these weird results <laughs> and then I get all this weird stuff. This is it's open. What is what is this, what is all this? Those what is are this? Dutch words. <laughs> it, it I'd auto direct to Google.nl for obvious reasons because that's where I am. So it's like downloaded from all these <laughs> Dutch websites. <laughs> Wikipedia is not a Dutch website, they there is, also have it in Dutch. There is a Dutch version of the website, Yep. So there's a trick, which I don't think very many people know. If you go to Google, you can delete that, and then you can go com, and then you can go slash ncr. I think so. Boom, google.com. NCR stands for No Country Redirect. <laughs> That's awesome. So I could have made a google.ca if I wanted to, but that's also a neat way if you wanted to force it into other languages. So if you wanted to see what the Dutch what the Dutch Google's like, you can go google.com, or sorry, google.nl slash ncr, and you can experience a, the, the Dutchness. how most of Holland is underwater. <laughs> most of Holland's underwater. Thank you. It's called Holland Hall. A hole is like a like a a hole a valley, I guess. A hole. So it's a, it's a valley land hole land. Netherlands. Nether means below. Right. So it's lowlands, and the whole country is underwater. Uh, so there's actually slota everywhere. That's a slot. Similar to a moat, might I add. I guess. Except for not not necessarily made for protection. It's not really for protection. Well, it's for protection against water because the water has to go somewhere. So like, there's farmers fields everywhere and, in, and basically each field is in between water. And then there's just little bridges that connect all the fields, but there's just water just everywhere. Man. Yeah. So when we're driving here, there's a lot of like, House, there'll be a house and then there'll be a little, the driveway is over a little bridge. Yep. To a house. Yep. It's very cute. Yep, so you don't have, ever have to side. water anything ever in this country. Not really, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Extra. Huh? You don't have these birds. An, an extra? Extra. Oh, is it that thing? That white and black bird. Focus. Yeah. That's an extra. Oh. It's like, it's like a crow in the sense that it like, or a raven, the ones that steal all the shiny things. Right. That you mean a, is that a things. magpie? A magpie. Oh, maybe it's a magpie? I don't know. That's. It's that's... actually proven that magpies don't steal shiny things. Okay, but... well, that thing steals shiny things. We are at my Oma's 80th birthday party. 
Her birthday was a couple days ago, but this is like the everybody get together and hang out. And we actually all work together on a magazine. So there's a website where every bunch of random people can make pages of a magazine and then you can get it printed out and like sent to you and it's an actual like full on magazine and it's super cool so that's like her present and like the whole family worked on it it's pretty cool filled it in with a bunch of personal stuff yeah. it's nice i mean i got a copy so we'll show you it later we have our best done om there iets heel persoonlijks van te maken ja and yeah it's actually moeilijk uit i think that we gewoon maar even moeten kijken maar er zit van iedereen wat in oh wat we gevraagd hebben mensen al Look, we've made some friends. That's baby sheep. Also known as lamb. Baby sheep. Baby sheep. Baby schaap. Baby schaap. Yeah, baby schaap. Baby schaap. Uh, so we learned some things. This is a hill. A, a, a dike. And those are boats. They're those living. Those are houses. Those are houseboats. So there, there's a canal over there, and the, they live in the boats. The sheep get dropped off. And then they just eat the grass, and then when the grass is good, they get taken away and dropped off somewhere else where they need to eat the grass. Portable lawn cutting They're service. <laughs> portable lawn cutting service. And they actually, um, they're the only thing that can go on this area because we're currently three meters underwater, or under the water level. And cows are too heavy, and you're not allowed to build on that plot because the building would ruin the dike. Which is so holding the, up all the water. Which is holding all the water away from us. So give me a shovel and cause some serious problems. <laughs> Let's not. Um, so the only thing that they can actually put on here is sheep, basically, because sheep are light enough and they'll just eat the grass. So a cow and, would uh, uh, yeah. basically ruin the hill. Yeah, we'll trample too, it. Too heavy. Too, it's heavy. too heavy, it would start causing havoc. So there's just sheep hanging out. I also want to show you something. Um, one of the little kids <laughs> fell in a burning nettle, which is basically poison ivy. It's like the Dutch slash European version of poison ivy. So if you're ever in this area, those are burning nettle and you do not want to touch them because they sting and they're very unpleasant. So stay away from those things. I had to explain it to Corrado because he's never seen them before because we don't have them in no, Canada. We, we have poison ivy or poison oak. Yeah. We don't have burning nettle. It's very interesting how that works. <laughs> this house and uh, remember earlier I was talking about the magazine that we made? I have a copy. And that's my Oma and her name is uh, Ria so we, we called it the new Ria <laughs> and it's like a magazine and it just has like all kinds of stuff in it from everybody in the family so we made like just stuff. So I made like a crossword because she really likes doing crosswords and also it's a magazine and then that's me with her. And then this page is just like other Rias. Mm. So like and the meaning of the name. So that's her and then like Maria and then a bunch of sport people and famous people. Mostly Dutch people. Um, and then people like wrote columns and stuff and like just lots of pictures and then this is something I wrote and we used to like go for train rides every time we visited my Oma if we went to a like sleepover we would then either take the train there or take the train back and then now where we live you can see all the trains going in and out of Union Station. Mm, yeah. So it like reminds me of that. So I wrote a little thingy about that. Oh, that's it. cute. Yeah, it's just lots of cool stuff. And then this is my favorite page. What's what's the master <laughs> the MasterCard commercials? It's the same. Priceless. Commercial. Priceless, that's the word. 
So it's like the, the oh, this I see. much the money, this much it. money, this much money. 100 euro. 100 euro for some food and 10 euro for some like decorations and a right. nice present and a trampoline. And then visiting your crazy family, priceless. <laughs> and this, these are all pictures from my parents' uh, 25th wedding anniversary. So I thought that was cool. It's cool. Yeah, you guys yeah, did a good job with that. That's really cool. My it's a lot. And made like how a many pages is that? It's eighty pages. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome though. Yeah. And it's super easy. There's like a website. Oh, and this is in here too. Let me show you. <laughs> so all the different things that the grandchildren are doing with their lives. Yeah, basically. Yeah. So you like, like everything little... everybody is doing with their lives. And so I put in Buffer Festival. They were like, Corrado needs to be in it too. And I'm like, Corrado, yeah. do you want to do a thing? He's like, no. And I'm like, okay, Buffer Festival. <laughs> I'm very happy with it. And she liked it too, I think. She looked pretty cool, happy. Mm -hmm. She didn't quite understand what it was. Because it was just like, here you go, open it. Okay, random people are showing up now. So she says she's going to sit tomorrow and read the whole thing. So wow. Anyway, it's midnight. Uh, we have to get up at 7 tomorrow because we're going biking. It's not just biking. So, my aunt and uncle are, it's their 25th wedding anniversary, I believe. So they're, it's like a bike trip thing. It's called Hoppa and Trapa, which translates to eating and pedaling. So, you eat something and then you bike to a new location and then you eat some more stuff and then you bike to a new location and then you eat some more stuff. So that's what we're doing tomorrow. Except it's for 40 kilometers. That's not my fault. I didn't, I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. It's fine because it's broken up into four chunks. Yeah, it's so. broken up into pieces. Just hopefully the weather is not awful, but we'll see. So anyway, so that means we have to really go to bed. Go like to bed like an hour ago. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm already tired, and I'm going to be super tired. I have to tomorrow. upload the vlog! It's good. Is it uploading now? It's uploading. 7%. Okay. 153 minutes remaining. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's been worse. It's been worse. Way worse. It's, it's been, been worse. Hours and hours. Alright. Good night. Home is where the vlog is.